Hey everyone, Seth Hawkins, Community Forester with the Georgia Forestry Commission here. Welcome to another episode of our Ask the Arborist Tree Care video series. You might be wondering why I'm holding this handful of uh, organic mulch material. Well, that's the subject matter of today's video is putting good mulch materials around our trees. Yeah, so Alex, another one of our uh, community foresters for the Georgia Forestry Commission is demonstrating, you know, proper mulch application, right? So when we're actually, when we're putting mulch around trees, what we're really trying to do is recreate the natural growing conditions of the forest. If you go out in the forest and look around on the ground, what do you see? You see mulch materials, you see sticks, twigs, leaves, things like that. So we're essentially just trying to make the tree feel like it's in its more natural growing habitat more tangible things that mulch can do for us. It provides, you know, organic input into the soil. It conserves soil moisture. It moderates soil temperature during the summer and winter. It protects the soil from being compacted by foot traffic or raindrops. One of my favorite things about mulch is it suppresses weeds. We don't want to be underneath our young trees spraying uh, Roundup. We definitely don't want to have a weed eater anywhere close to the stem of our young trees. Um, so having the, that mulch in place will really help to suppress weed growth which will keep us from having to have any sprays or weed eater near our tree. But you'll notice, Alex, he spread it out nice and wide, about two or three inches thick, um, really depending on your soil texture. If it's really sandy soil, maybe about four inches thick with your mulch. Um, but here with this soil, it's a nice sandy loam. We're gonna go about two or three inches thick on it. You'll notice that he's going out past what we call the drip line, which is the furthest out reaching branches of the tree. So that's just a good rule of thumb to follow when you're mulching, especially around young trees just to make sure we're protecting an adequate amount of the root zone. So as you can see, Alex has got this a nice flat uniform thickness, about two, three, four inches thick. Um, again, just a nice uniform disc around the tree. You'll notice that he's got it spaced out from the trunk. You don't want it mounded up on the trunk or anything. We call that volcano mulching. It's really bad for the trees. It can cause girdling roots and stuff like that. So again, you have a little space between your mulch ring and the base and just a nice uniform thickness disc. And um, just come out about every six months to a year, take your rake and just kind of stir this up to break up any thatch that forms. And uh, you should have nice protected soil and it'll really start to improve the soil over time. So again, mulching is just a super easy thing people can do to improve the health and vigor of their trees in their backyard. Our website has a lot of great resources, including resources on proper mulching techniques. So you can go on gatrees.org and find a lot of good publications and resources there. And also go on our Ask the Arborist webpage where you can submit your questions and pictures as well and our team of arborists will help answer your tree care questions. So again, thanks for watching today and I'll see you on the next episode.